All right. This is PG Booth settings overview again, and this time we're going to be going over the photo strip settings. So if you look at the top right, we're going to hit the little gear, and we're going to go down to photo strip options. And in here, we have several settings for styles, and then a couple of settings here on the very top, which uh, do a little bit of functionality behind the scenes. So we're going to start with those. Show strip once done. If that's turned on, when your booth's done completing a set of photos, it'll pop up and show you your strip. And then the next setting is auto save strips to photos. And what that does, if it's turned on, when a strip's done being uh, taken, it's automatically going to save it to your photos and to this app. Uh, I generally have auto save on for the photos, and I have the show strip once done turned off on the booth. I usually use a remote for that. Um, and then the third setting is save each image to photos, which will save each individual photo it took and put into the strip also, but those only get saved to your photos app on your phone, not to this app at all. The photos saved to this app are purely for using in the slideshow, which we'll go over in a different settings video. Then we'll get down into the style. So these are the photo strip details. So here we have title for photo strip, my cool strip is the title I have here. And if we tap the top right button, uh, it has a little uh, photo strip with the magnifying glass on top of it. That'll show us a preview of what our strip looks like. And you can see my cool strip in very small font at the bottom there. So because we have a 2x2 two two grid, it's very wide, meaning that, that there's a lot of space there. So we might want to increase the size of our font. So now that's what I'm doing. I'm going to raise that up until you like say 44 or 45. And then if we go into preview it, my cool strip's much larger, and that's what it'll look like on the outputted image. So it's nice to see that preview. And then we have a font chooser. We can say we'll take this goofy looking font and say our strip background now we want it to be gray color. And then we can go in here and say, what do I think? Gray, my cool strip, and the goofy font. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And then we can also change the title color if we want. Um, I don't know, let's see. Neon green, why not? We can go back in here. Oh, that's beautiful. Probably the best looking strip ever. So this is how we customize our photo strip. And that's it for now. There's more settings I've been working on that are going to be coming probably in the near future, but I've keep adding and removing them. But these are the ones we've got for now, and I think they work pretty well.